Today I'm going to give you some tips on how we can get some really good retention on a lower denture from a completely digital workflow, including intraoral scans for the final impressions and 3D printed dentures. So let's take a look and see how we did it. It all starts with a good digital impression. You have to train your team on a, how to properly retract soft tissues for these types of scans. Get them the training that they need to do these quickly and efficiently, and you might find that you'd be surprised all the borders and details that you would capture with a lower digital impression. Okay, so now into the ExoCAD design, one of the most important things is your virtual wax up bottom step. There's settings here that need to be paid attention to in order for you to get a really good fit. Now remember, a digital impression is a mucostatic scan, so we don't want to add spacer and smoothing um, like you do for a physical impression. And so these are the settings that I use for my virtual wax up bottom, my undercut model retention, um, down to the micron here. In addition to that, the denture base bottom properties, some settings have it as smoothing rather than as a millimeter, and that's zero to five percent smoothing. Now, once you get your denture made and you're all the way at the end of your design, you're gonna to go to freeform and you're going to go ahead and unselect the keep bottom boundary fix and the visualized thickness. Go ahead and look at distance to scan data here and change your scale. And you're gonna add some selective pressure back to the border of the denture, especially in the retromyelohyoid fossa. I hope this helps guys, phenomenal lower dentures.